Let's talk positioning. Narrative. Strategic positioning. Let's get into it. Positioning. Let me let me just cut the the evil from the road. Because when I started this thing with strategy, when I first got my hands on brand strategy, I heard a lot the word positioning. And if you are studying marketing, if you are doing marketing, if you are doing branding, if you are doing anything for your company, positioning is a word that you hear a lot. But with a simple Google search, you will see that people use positioning as a statement. It's something that you write down, you plaster in your brand book, and if you even have that, put it on your website, and that's positioning. But the word that I like to think is narrative, or the word that I like to use is narrative. Positioning is just strengthening values, belief systems, and through your narrative. So in order to create a positioning for your brand, for your personal brand, because here we are talking about experts, expert business businesses. So if you are a freelancer of some sort, an influencer of some sort, or you want to be an influencer of some sort, you want to talk about the things that you know on the internet, just like I am talking strategy, launch strategy, digital products, you're gonna need to position yourself as such. But positioning isn't a statement. Positioning is a narrative that you work on every day in order to build authority in order to connect with people in order to become desirable or rather make your solutions desirable to your customers so they can buy so strategic positioning is a tool that is part of your narrative if there is something in your day or in your scope of capability that you strongly believe in, that will be part of your narrative. For example, I don't believe in passive income because setting up a product takes time. Managing that product takes time. Scaling that product takes time time even if you delegate it to someone you're gonna have to manage the person that you're delegating it to there's nothing about passive passive is a word that is much like lottery only people that don't understand use so that would be part of my positioning i am positioning my ideas and the things that i believe in my values to my audience it's something that you have to tell often a narrative is something that you tell often something happens in your industry you can position yourself with your belief system so it's always surrounding your belief systems and the things that you value a statement a statement is useful if you're expecting to have investors or collaborators in your business. So that would be your corporate website. A statement in that sense of brand communication and that part of brand communication on the B2B side will simply serve as an indicator of whether or not it would be a good collaborator or a good person to invest in. You most likely don't need to worry about a statement at all. And that's something that I've learned the hard way. I've been doing brand strategy for exactly 10 years now. 10 years ago, I was arriving in Finland, well, almost 10 years, a couple of weeks to 10 years. I was arriving in Finland 
to start my the uni here and we were taught all those elements of branding but guess what once you get into the field of battle the field of battle is quite different you are not hitting stray dolls anymore you are hitting stray dolls anymore you are not hitting you are going to be hitting people so to speak not really please don't do that the battle is quite different on the field and there are certain things you only learn on the field or if you happen to find somebody that um, that is willing to tell you how it works and you can be that person for your audience as well it's part of positioning Another part of strategic positioning and part of your narrative, I, I should say, part of your narrative, narrative is very much a strategic. Narrative is not a, it's not exposure. A lot of people say, oh, I don't want to expose certain parts of who I am. Well, narrative is strategic. You choose what to say and what not to say. Sounds good. Part of your narrative would be your difficulties things that you've gone through. And if you watched this video over here, you will see that I asked you to map a few things for your personal brand. And that will do this, do this, experiment, looking back at your story, write down all the milestones of your, pro of your process, of your story, personal brand. And that will be part of your positioning because your belief systems are directly related to what you've been through, to the things that you've experienced in the market. Just like I said, I don't believe in passive income because I know how much work it takes to manage something that is scalable in the long term. So part of my story, part of my well, it's not exactly a personal dif difficulty, but I did go through moments of a rut, right? So I acknowledge that and I use that as part of my narrative. So go back to the video, watch it, do the exercises that are in there. The other thing you have in your hand as part of a positioning because of the way that the market works, because of the way people consume content in the internet, showing your behind the scenes will be helpful to help you. Will be helpful to help you. Will be helpful to create, to instigate curiosity with your audience. People want to see what you were doing when you were not working. People want to see. That's why reality shows are so popular again go back to your narrative see what you are willing willing to share and why is that part of positioning right because the things that you do the habits that you do they build your values they build your belief systems so having awareness you don't need to post your values or belief systems anywhere as long as you have a narrative to share narrative will build slowly but surely your positioning through time. So as you communicate every day, for example, or nearly every day, you tell your story, you tell the things that you've been through, you say what you don't like, what you hate, you see, you say the things that you believe in, those things will connect people. Those things will build your brand universe, especially if you follow what I said on the other video reinforcing your product belt reinforcing your product belt is a product belt is your collection of offers and again if you watch that video it's a very necessary video is the place that you have to begin in this channel is that video okay stop watching this and go watch that because i will be referencing it your product belt you have to reinforce your method you have to reinforce because again you have your ways of doing things you have your ways of approaching your work much like i said that i don't believe in passive income i don't believe in brand positioning the way people teach therefore i have this product that i believe in because it's part of my method 
So you will reinforce your product, you reinforce your method through your narrative and your positioning. And if you are enforcing through your positioning, you are enforcing through your narrative. Genius. Speak about the things you believe in. I just said that and I'm going to repeat it. I believe that even if you have a few followers, but they are engaged, you can make good money with digital products and digital services. You do not need to have thousands of followers. But in the long term, having a wide audience base will help you because your audience renovates your funnels renovate so i don't fully believe in people that say that you don't need a lot a lot of followers it's not quite like that you don't need to start with a lot of followers because nobody does but with the right strategies with the right mindset with the right narratives you will be able to make money it's that simple you do not have to have the best gear to get started for example with a digital course to record a digital course if you have a phone if you have a couple of lamps around put a lamp on behind behind put a ring light above your head i have a ring light here i have an extra fancy light on the right here adding a little bit of color to videos but you don't need that you just need a lamp or two your phone on a tripod or on a pile of books with like a bottle at the back or a cup at the back and you are good to go and there is one that is an extra and that you will build through time which are intentional phrases things that you say that will mark your speech that will mark your personality that will mark your narrative as being yours i say often players you are a player in your field in your industry you are a and when i say player players are high performance good players a higher performance and excellent players are excellent in high performance so it's kind of like an inspiration from that and because we use that term in the field as well but these things they build through time i'm still building you are still building we are all constantly building results positioning your brand with results creates authority creates social proof which is mental triggers that are super important for persuasion so if you want to sell your product, you want persuasion and you need a narrative that has lo uh, is it logos or ethos? God damn it. Ethos is ethics. So logos, it's logic. There we go. Do you need a narrative that has logos and with social proof? you reinforce that in your narrative you reinforce that in your positioning you are positioning yourself as an expert when you share other people's or your own results that's why people and you should a lot of people are gonna hate me for this but you should 100 percent share the things share the car that you buy share the apartment that you buy sh share the tech that you buy because that's part of persuasion people will see in that where they can go and if you're doing things right you are offering them through your product belt you're offering them the step by step to get there what am i doing here on youtube giving you the first steps in order to get into one of my courses to eventually sit on, the, sit on the table and if you don't know what i'm talking about go watch that video i'm gonna keep saying go watch that video that's gonna be a phrase soon go watch that video expose your haters that are going against your narrative because you reinforce it it has to be strategic and that's a very another polemic polemical polemic i don't know how to say it whatever that's another icky one for some people because they are afraid of positioning themselves. They don't share the belief systems. 
they don't share the values why would they share what the haters are saying don't give attention to your haters be strategic instead you dummy do share things that go against your belief system because you're going to reinforce your positioning with your followers be strategic about it you don't need to be a rude to anybody I was, I was trying to remember the word rude there. I'm not going to lie. You don't need to be rude to anybody. You just write good copy that reinforces your narrative. Write good copy, I mean, say something or write actually, you know, like a story on Instagram, for example. That reinforces the narrative. narrative that reinforces your belief system. Stop playing like you are people's friends on the internet because you aren't if you are treating your students your followers like your friends you do not have real friends in real life i'm sorry that was a bit harsh real friends are few and far in between and do not treat your followers like your friends do not treat haters like they matter but they matter in a term in terms of strate- strategy that's Thick skin, that's being anti-fragile. When chaos ensues, when there are problems around you, you still there, there, there's hate and people coming against you, you are gonna use that to your favor. That's what the anti-fragile does, and that's something that I strongly believe in. You gotta thicken that freaking skin. Is it burning already? That's something I say I say to you. Is the skin burning? Did that burn? Did you catch the DNA? That's another thing that I'm saying as well recently. Are you catching the DNA? Did the scheme burn? Come back to reality. Stop treating... I'm positioning now myself again. Stop treating people in the internet like your friends. They aren't. People on the internet are scrolling Facebook, Instagram, the other... All the other... I don't know if you can say it on YouTube or not. Because Instagram, if you say the the TT word, you you get in trouble, apparently. I don't know if that's true. Whatever. Stop treating like they affect you. Neither the praise, unless it's social proof, because then it affects your narrative strategically. Neither the hate should affect you unless you can use that to your favor. Because that's what a narrative is. Because that's what you are in the internet for. If you are there to position your brand in order to sell a product, stop playing it at the friendly level. Position your brand. Position your thinking. Position yourself. Say what you think. If that hurts people, good right if it hurts like if it's something hard to hear like i'm doing now if that's hard to hear it's because you probably need to hear it that sort of thinking one little strategy you can use on instagram if there is something that is particularly bothering you and you need to build that narrative you don't have the narrative narrative yet and you want to build a narrative you can answer you can open a question box I haven't done that in a while. But you can open a question box on your stories and send yourself a question or ask a friend to ask a question. Because when you start, there is a likelihood the people that are following you are your parents, your friends, your siblings, your fa- all the family people. There's not going to be that many new heads there. But you could create a few questions that you want people to send, people that support you. Or you send it yourself. Who cares? But if you feel like that's icky, if you don't feel comfortable, you can ask that one friend to like, hey, just posted a question box. Would you send these questions there so I can answer? Because I feel weird sending it myself. I don't care how you do it. But learn to control your narrative. This is not being unauthentic. This is giving people the awareness. Because they might arrive. They might arrive. They will most likely arrive at your tiktok and your youtube there i said and your instagram without certain 
awareness levels about why they can't lose weight or why they can't sell using their Instagram account. And you can formulate those questions so that it sparks the awareness and they understand your narrative and they understand what they can ask you. It's a it's like light, it's kind of like lighting lighting a spark on a hay bale. <laughs> it's going to catch fire eventually, eventually. Hay bale actually is pretty flammable. But anyway, this is it for this video. If you have questions, you are welcome to ask and if you watched all the way through comments, I caught the DNA.